Hello, welcome to the channel. Using the car soft today on Jaguar. Um, we've got parking sensor problem, so when we put it into reverse, the camera doesn't come on. It says parking sensor issue, and it just beeps. So I'm going to use that um, car soft LR2 to try and find out which sensor it is. So it's a bit dark I'm inside. Um, so I'm going to flip the camera around, start the car, and show you what's happening. Right, so the problem we've got, we am recording this time, the problem we've got is when we um, start the car like this and put it into reverse, cameras unavailable, unavailable, please consult your dealer and you get that beeping noise, which does stop. But then no matter how many times you put it in reverse, the sensors don't work and the camera doesn't work. So we'll use that car soft to find out what the problem is this does do sensor problems and camera problems and stuff like that so we'll just find out what it says and then we can see which sensor it is and see what we can do with that sensor to fix it but for the price now you can pick one of these up when I bought this like five years ago there was 200 quid you can pick one of these up for like 75 quid now so I'm definitely worth having if you've got one of these because as in my previous videos it'll regenerate the DPF as well which can be expensive if you've got to go to a dealer I normally want it at three, four hundred quid um, so what we want is the parking assist module there so it's the right rear right inner sensor I'll clear that and see if the camera works once it's cleared see if it will clear okay codes cleared let's read them again see if it's definitely gone or if it's still there so there's no codes so now let's put it into reverse and see what it does now cameras unavailable consult your dealer so I've cleared the fault but it's still saying that it's unavailable it'll probably show the fault up again now No, it's showing no faults. Let's just check in any of the others. I think you might have to turn it on and off again for it to reset the camera. So, right in there, I would say, is this one. So, we'll just spray it with some GT85, which is like WD4 to the water dispersant. We'll spray the center itself. I don't know if it's going to do anything. We'll spray that and leave it on, see if it'll get any water out there. It could be the connector, but this is not easy to get to under here. It's all completely covered. The entire bottom of the car is covered, so to get to the um, back of that, there's a lot of covers got to come off. But we might as well give them all one over there. I don't think it's the camera itself because we've gained no faults for that. There we go. I don't need to top the oil up, so while it's here, I'm going to top the oil. Right, we've sprayed it and I've left it a few minutes, so we're going to back out. No, I don't know whether it'll work or not. If it doesn't, at least we know which sensor we've got to look at. No, it did come on for a bit, but it, I fixed it completely. It obviously thinks there's something in front of that sensor that's causing an issue. So we shall replace that at some stage. 